Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial number 5 of assembly language. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the logical instructions which are AND, OR, XOR and NOT. Out of all of these, I will only cover AND, OR and XOR. So let's get started. First I will go to a memory location, for instance A, A100. After that, I'm gonna move in my AL00. And then I'm gonna XOR my AL with itself. Whenever you XOR a value with itself, the output is 0. So first I move the value 1 in my general purpose register AX in its low byte and then I'm XORing AL with itself. Now after that I will put HALT and then leave the memory location and go from 100 to 104. That is first memory location to the last memory location. So you will all see over here that the final result is of AX is 0 because anything XOR with itself is 0. And then you can see if we view our flags we can see that the zero flag has been set because our output is zero and then our carry flag is reset because we don't have any carry so that was XOR now let's take an example of the logical operation AND now for instance I want to AND first I will go to a memory location for instance A200 and then I'm gonna AND 4B with F3 let me uh, let's see how we're gonna do it. These are my values. I'm ending AL, which is 4B, with B8, which is F3. So move in AL 4B and move in B8 F3. After that, I'm simply gonna end AL with BH and then HALT and then I will leave the memory location and go from 200 to 206 now as you can see that as you can see that after ending AL with BH our final result is 43 which is stored in the lower byte of AX and our flags as we don't as our result is not zero then uh, that is why our zero flag has been reset which is which means that no zero and as we don't carry anything that is why our carry flag has also been reset which means no carry now if we do this on a paper it will look something like this first of all we are ending AL which is 4B. Now I want to make a point very clear over here that we are using hexadecimal digits which means that B is 11 F and F is 15. So AL is 4B and BH is F3 so over here this is 4 0, 1, 0, 0, and this is B1011 which is 11 and then we have F3 means F is 15 1, 1, 1, 1, and 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. In AND, whenever we have both the digits 1, then the output is 1. So as you can see, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And all the rest are 0. So these are zeros. So if you can see, this is 4, so 4. And this is 3, hence 3. So our final result is 43. And if we see our code, we will get to know that our result is 43. So this is how the AND works. Now let's go to OR. Let me first go to a memory location, maybe this time 400, 300. And let me simply write MOVE in AL 4 and MOVE in BL 3. It means that I am moving the value 4 in the lower byte of the general purpose register AX and moving the byte uh, moving the value 3 in the lower byte of general purpose register BX. 
and now I'm gonna R A L with B L. After that, I'm gonna write halt, and then I'll simply go from my first memory location 300 to my last memory location 306. Now, as you can see, that our final result is 7 because 4 plus 3 is 7, and there is no carry and no zero. So this is how or this is how R works. Um, let me show you how it will look like on a piece of paper. This is 4 and uh, 0, 1, 0, 0 is 4 and 0, 0, 1, 1 is uh, 3. This is 4 and this is 3. So in R whenever we have 0, 0 then we have 0 and all the rest are 1's. So 0, 1, this one will become 1. Hence our final result will be 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. So this is how our code will look. And uh, our flags as our result is not 0. And 0 flag has not been affected. And as we didn't take any carry. So our carry flag is also not affected. So this is how we deal with logical operators like AND, OR, and XOR by using the assembly language. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.